Hey guys, it's Scott here from Zomai God Play, and still we're demonstrating how to transfer your data from a Nintendo 3DS XL to the new Nintendo 3DS. So obviously if you've got a 3DS or 3DS XL or Nintendo 2DS, this demonstration that I'm showing you here will show you how to uh, transfer all your data across to the new Nintendo 3DS or new 3DS XL. So let's get to it. So to start off with, both consoles need to be up to date with the latest firmware. And then once you've updated to the latest firmware, you just need to go into your system settings and then go to system transfer. And you'll need to do this on both consoles, but I'm just letting the uh, new Nintendo 3DS, which is the white one on the right hand side, catch up first as it does take quite a while. So once it's set up, you'll want to select transfer from a 3DS and you'll be presented with a variety of text to read and you must agree to all of it before you proceed but what I do recommend is reading the text first and scrolling down so it gives you a fair bit of idea of what you're actually doing during the transfer process as it is long winded, can be quite complicated and if you've never done it before can be quite a daunting experience but uh, once you've read through the majority of the text or all of the text you can just click on uh, progress or continue now before I go any further, as you can see there's two different options so I'll leave that for the time being but on the 3DS XL we'll click on system transfer to start the process uh, rolling on that side and once it's synced up we'll be able to uh, continue on So just like last time you'll want to click the bottom option which is the transfer between two Nintendo 3DS systems and then agree to the actual text that appears and then back over onto the new 3DS you want to choose the bottom option while on the 3DS XL you want to choose the top option which will bring another piece of text telling you to log into your Nintendo Network ID account so just agree to that and then proceed to log in once you've successfully logged into your Nintendo Network ID or NNID account You'll then be given the option of uh, selecting which console you want to transfer the data to. In this case is the new 3DS and was listed as EMA185. And then on the new 3DS console you'll want to confirm that uh, transfer by tapping yes. Moving back over onto the 3DS XL console you'll notice a lot of text. There's nothing really to worry about here. It's basically a warning message letting you know that uh, the transfer process will delete all remaining data or any data on the new 3DS console so basically it's a little warning message saying if you haven't uh, backed up any data then it'll be deleted but since it's a new console anyway it shouldn't really matter so you can just agree to that and then press next or yes which will uh, once again begin the transfer process Now before the transfer process gets going you're brought up with another warning message letting you know that any content or data on the new console will be deleted as soon as you start the transfer process. So you can just click next to this and then yes to the message that appears here whereby data will be deleted on the uh, target console which is the new 3DS. Once you click on transfer you'll then receive a message on the new 3DS console whereby it's asking you whether or not uh, any data on the micro SD card should be deleted and all you have to do is click yes and then delete and any data which shouldn't be very much as it's a brand new console will be deleted you'll also receive another message asking if any other memory cards have been used in this particular console but since it's a brand new console the answer is no but if you have used uh, other micro SD cards in the console you'll have to select yes the next message that appears is asking that if uh, DSiWare games should be moved to the memory card as DSiWare games are usually stored on the internal memory rather than the memory card itself and since you're wanting to transfer them across you have to click move and then by doing this it will copy the game from the internal memory to the SD card to make the transfer process a little bit easier.
Now since the new 3DS console uses micro SD cards as opposed to SD cards, the transfer process for actually copying the content is a little bit different. So you have three different options to choose from. The first option is the wireless transfer whereby all data from the memory card and console is transferred to your new console wirelessly and if you have a lot of games it can take a while. The second option is a limited transfer whereby just your profile and saved game data and me data is transferred from your old console to the new console. And the final one is the uh, one that everyone should be familiar with which is copying data via computer. The third option, it will transfer your profile and uh, other basic content across wirelessly but then all your game data will have to be uh, transferred manually by putting the SD card into your computer and vice versa. But before that you'll be asked uh, if you're using a SD or mini SD card with your 3DS console. So if you're using an SD or mini SD card you'll just want to pick yes. Uh, but if you're already using a micro SD card inside of a SD card adapter, you could pick no. But for most of us, the answer will be yes. So in this demonstration, I'll be doing the second transfer option, whereby limited data from the old console is transferred to the new console, such as your profile, game saves, me data, and so forth. And then once the transfer process is completed, you're expected to re-download all of your game content afterwards. So with all the warning messages out of the way, if you tap on the word move, the transfer process will begin. And depending on how big your profile is or how much data you originally downloaded on your old 3DS console, depends on how long the transfer process will take to complete. Now while I'm waiting for this uh, whole process to be completed, what I will recommend is that before starting the entire transfer process, is to uh, copy the contents of your SD card from the 3DS, 3DS XL or 2DS to a computer and then once you've finished the transfer process especially for option 2 and option 3 is to put the micro SD card into the computer and copy the uh, content the originally copied from your old memory card onto your new memory card as this will ultimately save time and hassle later on for instance when you're doing the transfer option 2 which is what we're doing here you're asked to re-download all the games but if some games have been removed from the uh, 3DS eShop such as the Ambassador games you won't be able to re-download them but if you've copied your memory card from the previous console onto your computer you can just copy it back forth onto your new memory card and it'll all be there ready and waiting without much hassle so that's what I recommend you do So once the consoles have finished preparing for the transfer, the actual transfer itself will begin. And if you've done it on a 3DS console before, it's the same thing, uh, whereby the Pikmin characters pick up the content of your memory card and walk across the screen with it. It's quite comical, but it does take quite a while, so you may want to uh, sit back and uh, relax or do something else like watch TV. So after a varying length of time the Pikmin will finish their job of copying uh, the content over from the old console to your new console and then just before the process finishes on the old console which in this case is the 3DS XL it will pop up with a warning message saying that the transfer is being complete and that you won't be able to complete another transfer um, for another week. So you can only do one transfer a week on these consoles. After that, it'll bring up a message saying that uh, would you like to delete any data on the Nintendo 3DS. It's up to you if you want to or not, but in this case, I will be deleting the data. So you can just pick on 
click on delete and then click on delete again and any data that was on your 3DS XL console or SD card will be permanently deleted so you can sell it on or trade it in or whatnot. While on the f new 3DS console, once the transfer process is finished, you click on OK or continue and then it'll continue to finalize the process as you can see there. Yet again, it can take a while to finalize itself, but uh, once it does, we can then move on to the closing stages of the transfer process. So after the new 3DS console has synced itself with the internet, you'll be presented with another message that's asking whether or not DSiWare titles should be transferred from the microSD card to the console. Similar process to what was done at the start of the transfer process, so just click on the move button and it'll begin moving any titles uh, that it received during the transfer process directly back to the 3DS console or internal memory so that it can be used. Once that finishes copying over, you'll be presented with a message that says you won't be able to transfer again for another seven days. And after clicking next on that, you'll be presented with another message which states that any 3DS titles that you downloaded off the internet will have to be re-downloaded. But of course, if you previously copied your memory card across, you can simply take out the memory card in your new console, pop it in your computer and transfer the content across. So once the console restarts, your new 3DS console will be uh, fully updated with all the content and licenses from the uh, previous console. Now, because like I said, I did the second option whereby I only transferred limited data across, as you can see, there's only a few items. And the reason why they're all spread out all the way across the screen uh, and in separate folders is it's kept my settings from the old 3DS console. So once I copy the memory card content across or re-download the games from the Nintendo eShop um, they'll all go back in their correct places. So just to demonstrate that the actual transfer process was a success I'm just going to log into the Nintendo eShop and as you can see it brought up my username which is emo185 for the uh, Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And if I go to the download history of the eShop, all of the titles that I've previously downloaded from there will be available for re-downloading. So that was a demonstration showing how to transfer from a 3DS XL to the new 3DS. And the same process can be used to transfer content from old 3DS to a new 3DS XL.